So when do we use the Anderson Darling test? Well, in most organizations, it's going to be the first test that we use to evaluate normality. And that's really because it's more selective due to more weight being placed on the tails. And in engineering, we always like to start with the most selective and slowly open up our specifications. That way, we are erring on the safe side, right? In engineering, nothing is exact. Everything is about getting the best results with the best with the current available resources. So the, if we stay in the smallest, most confined area, such as the most selective test, we know that we're in a safer place. We can never guarantee something, but we know that we're in a safer place. So that means that it can reject the null hypothesis, which is that the data follow the specified distribution when other tests would fail to reject it, like the Ryan Joyner, Jark Barra, Kalmogorov, Smirnov, and other tests. So if it rejects the null hypothesis, we can say that it, it, we can't assume that it follows the specified distribution. But maybe other less selective tests, like the Ryan Joiner, um, which is just for normality, by the way, um, might say, "Yeah, we're good. That we, we'll assume normality." Like I said, we always want to err on the safe side as engineers. So it's and it's really just best to start with most selective. We kind of talked about that. These are really all the same point, just minor aspects of it. So the Anderson Darling test can also be used to evaluate the goodness of fit with other distributions. So if you've ever done maximum likelihood estimation, uh, well, I guess individual distribution identification in um, Minitab or QE Suite, that individual distribution identification is actually using the Anderson Darling test to evaluate um, which of those distributions your data fit the best. So to do this, the parameters for the other distributions must be, must be estimated. And this is generally through maximum likelihood um, if you use QE Suite, there's a, uh, an excellent function, the maximum likelihood function, that actually estimates and returns those so you can see the values. Um, we'll talk about that at a later date. It's really not that important right now. Minitab uses the exact same um, process for estimating those parameters as well. So the Anderson-Darling test is often used to determine the distribution that the data best fits. That's that individual distribution identification. Um, Again, it's a, it's a selective test, um, and the fact that we use it for lots of distributions uh, makes it a great pick when we're doing normality. Um, just because of its, its broad support, we like to use things that can be used in a multitude of scenarios, right?